hi uh, today we are adding in betweens to this uh, run cycle animation and suppose this is already uh, we did this run cycle uh, with the hair uh, movement so because of the very fast and uh, bit of uh, jerky action we have to add uh, in between so after adding in betweens the action will be more smoother okay so that is very very important right so in between means in between means the center frames exactly center we have to make in between so between all these this frame to this frame one frame will come that is in between and again here in between between all these frames in between we do okay so here what we do uh, give the gaps suppose so here to here <coughs> with the shift you can move here so here one frame will come okay and here to here one more in between here to here between all the poses one one frame will come that is in between okay so here what i'm doing for in between i'm giving name suppose ha <coughs> uh, first unlock this up to here unlock all these frames and here what i'm doing with the shift you can select here this frame the second frame because this is in between so here to here with shift select here can do the uh, inset keyframe so the keyframe is inset so like first row, like all the first frames how it look the same way here this added keyframes <coughs> here what you do give this name here uh, ib i'm giving shortcut ib okay so this is ib uh give the number ib one i b one <coughs> this is okay so let us check how to do this so on the onion skin okay so between this key pose so that means this is the about to contact key pose and this is the key pose and this is passing position between this passing position and the first contact we are giving in between so in between see i want only these three frames yes first what we do <coughs> select this all frames select this all frames and uh, check the height suppose can give the a down arrow and see the middle frame must be at middle if you check here this is our frame that means this is in between frame and the first one is this and the last one is this between these two frames this must be exact center not favor to this frame or not favor to this frame exact center okay so everything is center but the tail i mean pony tail and uh, some hands and legs we have to adjust okay now close all drawings one by one i'll do uh, first of all, i'll set the right legs okay so you lock all you lock all 
except a right leg so right leg this and this <coughs> right left leg you can switch off left legs so there will be no confusion now yes the here faster uh, I'll move this which one this yes this I'll do so this I move so press Q and you can move this so it must be at a, a center right so you log this and open this okay more just you follow my method can see this how I am placing this so this means what exactly <coughs> at center I am trying that okay in few areas if it is not connected so you can connect uh, manually also on the onion skin see this <coughs> move this yes Now you can adjust this. Give the proper shape. right yes now see this is exactly between this leg and this leg exactly it is at center now close this <coughs> now open uh, a leg this is a leg now we can place this suppose first uh, I'll move this upper leg
per leg okay here you can select and control b so that you can check this manually also this is very important try to get exactly at center yes yes it is there right perfect then on this it must be here and you can turn this you can turn this okay now you on this suppose the leg must be must touch this right <coughs> okay now on these other legs then we'll understand this right right so leg positions are over now uh, our leg for that close the uh, sorry not our leg our hand for that first to close the L hand so for L hand close this on the our hand right yes on the onion skin now understand these legs understand these hands suppose this is almost at center this is perfect exactly it is placed on a center position good so enlarge this but you can check the action very nice <coughs> and on the uh, L leg sorry L hand
down the onion skin okay and uh, of the body and see the this hand in between hand and um, switch of the R hand yes exactly this is the center perfect center it must be center yes <coughs> now if you see this perfect and now check the body also let me the body yeah it is at a center but this line control B so this line should be down I think this is okay yes yeah yeah this is okay okay so both legs and hands body okay so head automatically it is it in between and uh, come to ponytail so <coughs> so on the ponytail yes on the onion skin yes it must be at center okay so delete this color then you can give the shapes Exert between. I am giving this shape. Yes, now we leave these lines because we are placing at center. Now fill the colors with eyedropper. <coughs> 
come here and apply the same way the red band select this come here and fill this suppose this is not fitting something like uh, switch up the uh, yes and if you see this it is not connected yes perfect now if you check this perfect it is nicely bouncing according to her action see perfect <coughs> and now like this make it control s now you can select all these frames and you can move it from here to here sorry again you have to select this one frame yes so between this and this this is over now between this and this here we have to do for that again select here and right click insert keyframe so this is insert keyframe and IB 2 <coughs> IB 2 here you can unlock all these Unlock all this on the onion skin. <coughs> Sorry. So this is between this and this. And you can give the up arrow. so exactly it is there at center now control s now lock all these except our leg <coughs> suppose visibility of the L leg also you can close we done only our leg now do the in between between this okay first of <coughs> sorry I'll match with the upper yes you can place this exactly center I think it is there at center yes Yes, it is there at center. But you have to match with this. So control P break apart and you can do the adjustment <coughs> of that particular line. Now on this one and on the onion skin. Okay. And press Q.
done this so this is arc so this is arc in this arc there are two places perfect now on this see this is nice but this you can <coughs> wait turn this yes so this is this you can move up mm. and here uh, we have to adjust them so you have to adjust this ok and you can uh, break a part here yes perfect <coughs> now if you see this nice perfect ok this is it a fourth frame perfect <coughs> now lock all this <coughs> and of the visibility now open the L leg on the on and skin on the on and skin <coughs> yes we have to move this so one by one we move right yes <coughs> this is in between of upper leg and open this one you can attach this move this and attach to that right right then switch off this switch on this this right now on this all ok so this is exact center but some adjustments required need some adjustments this can be there Yes, but control B can give the proper shape of this leg, and here can make the <coughs> control B nicely. You can give the attachment the same way here, this also yes now <coughs> if you check this yes this back one this is this is not uh, 
proper shape so for that <coughs> so we select this this hole just give some adjustment yes perfect now if you see this perfect now lock this now what you do <coughs> yes now what I do at for frame I want to adjust our hand our hand for that first to close the L hand on the onion skin if you see this you can move up to here suppose this is you can place exert uh, shoulders of here here it is <coughs> sorry with up arrows and keyboard you can adjust them okay this is perfect and long this of the visibility and L hand <coughs> and of the body and on the onion skin now let us check this so where it is exactly almost it is in center but some adjustment yes perfect right right <coughs> the both hands legs work and let us check the body position yes here yes yes body is there exert in center so not required to do that close body <coughs> and come to it uh, ponytail ponytail on the onion skin now remove the color and here remove the color <coughs> yes this is a band rubber band here I am making because the between of the the rubber band <coughs>
right now you connect this Yes. <clears throat> nice now on the um, fill the color first two I'll fill this uh, red color because already red is there <coughs> okay and now uh, I'll take this color and come here and I'll fill this color. Okay, but if you see here, it is not attached to hair head. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so that what we do, this must move up to here. So this 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 just move up to here right but <coughs> the problem is with uh, the rubber band uh, shape the shape is not good yes this uh, to move more properly so that means uh, what you have to do <coughs> can reduce this up to here this is only the rubber band area now you can remove this Suppose you see this. 
yes the shape is not good check the <coughs> volume volume means the same size you have to maintain should not be a bigger small yes this is okay here i can attach this now if you check this to understand that yes nice so hair moving nicely along with the, the body this red soil uh, in between so let us write that as in between so here to here give the name as IB1 IB1 these are all IB1 <coughs> and these threads are IB2 ok so today uh, we did two in-betweens so because other in-betweens also we have to do it is a process ok uh, you must have to understand the process also so without understanding you if I do continuously this will finish but that is no uses for you so because you also have to do bit by bit slowly ok so that is the reason uh <coughs> today I am uh, leaving this at two in betweens don't forget these red frames are in betweens and the blacks are the main extreme poses so between each extreme pose for all the body parts we are making in between poses in betweens will give you always the smooth and flexible action ok so we are doing that in betweens right so I am saving this control as <coughs> and tomorrow we will check the other in betweens ok you also practice this and if you have any doubt please ask okay, thank you